Waiting for it. Well, there it is, the arrival of the Tigers on the field, and fans erupt here. This is the finale of the 1980 season. And I think everyone in the state of South Carolina, be he here in one of the Coliseums or listening along one of the two networks, is going to be aware of what happens here in Death Valley today, Ken. Tiger captains just out coming out because of uh, they're waiting. Special team huddle back at the 35. They'll break from that and spread across the field as the Gamecocks have moved into receiving position now. And we're just about set for the start of this football game. The 78th renewal between the Tigers and the Gamecocks in South Carolina. Of course, South Carolina going to the Gator Bowl on the 29th of December. They'll go against Pitt, so they know that they have one game remaining after this one. Everyone is set. We await the referee's whistle with a crowd of better than 64,000 on hand here at the Valley this afternoon. The anticipation. I don't know what the holdup is down there. They're umpire standing, holding hand high overhead, awaiting the word from downfield from the referee. Now he checks with both teams. Well, I've never seen anything like oh. this, but it's not a televised game. Obviously, it's closed circuit television, but now we finally get the OK, and Obed is set to move forward to the football, and this game is underway. It's a high end over end kick. Backing up to the end zone is Smith. He'll take it eight yards in, touch it down. It will come out to the 20-yard line, and that's where South Carolina will put it in play first and 10 as the 78th meeting between the Tigers and the Gamecocks is underway. Gary Harper will have Johnny Wright and George Rogers in the backfield with him. Harper trots in from across the way now. Gamecocks go to their huddle. Tiger defense lines up. Out they come. Rogers to the left side. Wright goes right side in the split backfield as Harper moves up under center now. They send Smith a flanker right. He comes in motion to the left. Harper on a long count, takes out. This time is riding it off, and that's Johnny Wright tries right tackle. Oh, he is hit hard as he gets to the 22-yard line. Jeff Davis leading the charge. Johnny Wright spilled down as he gets out to the 22-yard line. Mark it at the 23, a pickup of three. It'll be second down and seven for the Gamecocks. Nobody blocked Davis at all. He was just coming straight ahead, filled up that gap in there when somebody moved out, a guard moved out. Tim Gillespie's checked in at flanker now. He'll come to the left side. They'll work from an eye formation this time. Rogers at tailback. Johnny Wright the fullback. Gary Harper at quarterback. Double tight end offense. Now it is right in motion to the right side. Pitch to Rogers. Sweeping out wide right. He's across the 40. Out to the 42 and bumps out of bounds. Across the way at about the 42-yard line. Willie Underwood and Jack Kane chasing him down there. But Johnny Wright leading the blocking to the right side along with tight end Willie Scott. And they spring George Rogers out to the 42-yard line, a 19-yard pickup on his first carry in the afternoon. Yeah, there was nobody out there at all to stop him around that corner. The blocking was just great. So first and 10 for the Gamecocks now. Wide to the left side comes Horace Smith. Again, they'll work from an eye formation with Wright and Rogers behind Harper. Gary Harper, the senior quarterback from Miami, Florida, takes out. This time is dropping to throw, is looking back the right side and firing. It is caught along the sidelines at the Tiger 45-yard line and out of bounds at that point. It was Dwayne Shivers, the tight end. And it is another first down for the game. Cox at the 45-yard line of the Tigers. Rod McSwain was there on coverage. So South Carolina with a drive that began at their own 20-yard line. Now moving as they're in Tiger territory at the 45. Jim Gillespie comes to the near side. Harper once more sets them down in the eye. Now sends Smith in motion. Pitch back to Rogers coming wide to his left. He is being pursued and knocked down after a gain of a couple into about the 43-yard line. Hollis Hall led the charge. Jack Kane coming up to aid on the tackle. 
So they stop Rodgers after a two-yard pickup, give him 21 yards and two carries unofficially this afternoon. I want to wish a speedy recovery to Bill Wren in Chester, South Carolina, the father of former Clemson chief recruiter Clyde Wren. Hope you're enjoying the game this afternoon. Horace Smith, wide to the right side. They'll slot on the right side now with Shivers. Harper has them in the eye, sends Johnny Wright in motion to the right side, pitch back to Rogers, cuts it back up over tackle, is across the 40, gets into about the 37, and down he goes at the 37-yard line. Jack Kane, who is only 170 pounds, threw everything he had at George Rogers, and you don't see George stood up and stopped at his tracks like that very often. Oh, right, let him, with a good block over there, too, to spring him loose around the corner. Third down, two. Gamecocks, Tiger, 37-yard line, first quarter, 13 minutes remaining. No score, but Carolina, starting at their own 20, is driven to the Tiger 37 as they bring Gillespie wide to the left side. They'll line up in the eye formation. Harper at quarterback, up under center. Sends Johnny right in motion to the right side. Pitch back to Rogers. He dropped the ball, picks it back up. Did not get the first down as he is denied at the 36-yard line by Jeff Davis and Jeff Bryant. So the Tiger defense has stopped the Gamecock shy of the yard marker across the way as it is marked at the 36-yard line. And on comes the putting team as Chris Norman will boot the football. Billy Davis will back up deep for the Tigers to receive. Norman standing back at his own 48-yard line awaiting the snap. Davis backed up to about the 10. Here's the kick. Hits it high and deep. This one will carry on into the end zone where it will be a touchback. It'll come out to the 20, and that's where the Tigers will have it first and 10. Their first offensive set of the afternoon after a 37-yard punt by Chris Norman. Well, the defense did all that could be, as, be asked of them at all. They turned the ball back over, let the Gamecocks keep it just a little, less than three minutes. Homer Jordan will have Jeff McCall and Chuck McSwain in the eye behind him. Tigers set to go on first down, wide out left and right as Jordan brings them out on a misdirect. Pitch back to McSwain, up to the 20, out to the 24-yard line, and pulled down at the 24-yard line. Walt Cater was there along with Andrew Province for South Carolina. So it's a pickup of four by McSwain. It'll be second down and six for the Tigers. Jim Wurst, sophomore tight end, has checked in. He'll work one side, Ricky Gray the other. Stock still going wide to the left. Everyone else remains in tight this time with McCall and McSwain lined up in the eye behind Homer Jordan at quarterback. No score first quarter. Tigers second and six at their own 24. Jordan takes out. Gives to McCall. A fake to McCall and Jordan keeping comes up over the 25 to about the 28 and would have had a first down but his feet went out from under him and Ed Baxley was there to cover him. So the Tigers are now faced with a third down and two as the ball is at their own 28-yard line. Quick feet of Homer Jordan that time. After faking the McCall, he kept on the option and carries for four to the 28. Killyard goes wide to the left side. Double tight end offense now. Homer Jordan once more setting them in the eye. This time on a misdirect. Pitch off to McSwain. First down at the 30, 35, 40, 45. McSwain to midfield. Gamecock territory down to the 40-yard line. Ed Batchley, the left linebacker, in pursuit from arrears. And Homer Jordan down here, walking back, a little disturbed because there is a flag on the play. And it looks as though we may have a clip against the Tigers. The official standing out at the 34-yard line where the flag was dropped. So the clip nullifying the long run by McSwain will set it all the way back to the 20-yard line. Brendan Kreit now checks in at tailback after the long run by McSwain. They'll rest him this way. Well, they ran the option to perfection that time, Jim, and it looked so good. Tuttle comes to the near side. Magwood goes out left. Now Gilliard will be a slot on the right side as Homer has them down in the eye. It is third down and 20, or third down and 10, I beg your pardon. Jordan, this time... That's Bullard, who is in at tailback, rather than Kreit. So Bullard, carrying to the left side, is knocked down at about the 24, and the Tigers now will have to punt the football as they are faced with a fourth down situation. Oh, 
Troy Thomas will back up deep for South Carolina to receive. Here's Henley's kick. Hits it high and deep. And it's fumbled, and maybe the Tigers have it inside the 30. A big scramble for it, and let's see who came up with it. Nope, South Carolina's got the football. One of the Tigers had a go at it. Jeff Suttle was down there. He dove for it, but it squirted out, and South Carolina comes up with it. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Well, I guess you would say that the jitters have started already. A 46-yard punt that time by Henley. 48 yards. Oh, with the ball at the 30, it'll be first and 10, South Carolina. Jim, some unpleasantries being passed already in this ball game. Hedden and uh, Pat Bowen. Out comes South Carolina now. They have Smith flanked to the left side, send him in motion right. High formation behind Harper at quarterback to Johnny Wright. Tries right tackle, nowhere to go. He's knocked down right around the 30-yard line. They were all over Johnny Wright that time, led by Jeff Davis and Dan Benish. So mark it at the 31, a pickup of one. It will be second down and nine for the Gamecocks. Okay, in the past, this season, when somebody starts pulling the Gamecock rushing attack at this point is when Harper goes to work with those short passes. Out come the Gamecocks once again. They'll have Gillespie squid wide to the left side, put Smith in a slot. Set to go as Harper has them in the eye. This time, riding off to Rogers, comes out of a left tackle, fights his way out near the 40-yard line, and is finally pulled down there by Jeff Bryant, who leads the charge. But George Rogers, with that explosiveness of his at the line of scrimmage, able to step outside and get near the 40. He'll be about a half-yard shy of a first down, and it is third down for the Gamecocks. Danny Triplett checked in at linebacker. Chuck Rose limped off after that last play. All right, it's Horace Smith, a flanker to the right side. Split backfield now for the Gamecocks as Gary Harper at quarterback keeps on the sneak, and he has the first down, I believe, as he crosses the 40 to the 41-yard line. It'll be enough for a first down Gamecocks with 8.44 remaining here in the first quarter of play. Jeff Davis again was there defensively for the Tigers. Their third first down this afternoon. Rogers is out now, and Percy Reeves has checked in for South Carolina. Gillespie will go to the right side. Reeves will line up a tailback with Wright in the fullback. They'll work from an eye. Gary Harper now sending Gillespie in motion. Drops the throw, looking to his left. Now turning and rolling outside. Going to have to run with the football, and down he goes around the 42-yard line. Catching him from behind was Jeff Bryant that time as Gary Harper set up the throw, but his receivers were well covered. And as he rolled to his left, he was brought down by Bryant. After a pickup of one, it'll be second and nine. Jim Harper, uh, our, our Rogers is out for the moment, but he has five carries, 36 yards so far this afternoon. Check again now as Forrest Smith once again for South Carolina. He'll go out as a flanker on the right side. They'll line up with Willie Scott, a tight end to the right side, and bring Chivers over to the left. Harper sets them down in the eye. Percy Reeves the tailback. Johnny Wright the fullback. In motion, it is Smith. Pitch back. This is Reeves turning up the right side. He gets about two out to the 44, and down he goes as he is hit hard there by Anthony Rose, who came up from cornerback with help from Jeff Davis, the linebacker. So mark it at the 44-yard line. It will be third down. Seven yards to go for South Carolina. Seven minutes, 14 seconds remaining first quarter. If you joined us late, the Tigers attired entirely in orange here today. Orange pants to go with their orange jerseys. Gary Harper has them out. They'll work from the eye formation once again. In motion goes Gillespie from left to right. Now turns and comes back to the left as Harper drops the throw. Looking over the middle and firing. It is tipped in complete down around the Tiger 40. Jeff Davis tipped the ball. And it was almost picked off by Anthony Rose. He couldn't quite get to it. Chivers was the intended receiver. The Tigers have held defensively again. And Billy Davis drops back to receive a Chris Norman punt. Chris Norman, Norman standing back at his 29 now, awaiting the snap. Kind of wobbly, but he gets it and gets the kickoff. Hits an end over end job. Davis under it, gathers it in at his 17 and downed immediately at that point. As quickly downfield for South Carolina to make the tackle on him was Chuck Finney. So the Tigers now will take over the football first and 10 after a punt of 39 yards. 
And I don't necessarily agree with that spot, Ken. He was out to the 17 where he was hit and driven back, and they've marked it nearer the 15 where he went down. A couple of yards makes a big difference, too, sometimes. Jordan has McCall and McSwain in the eye behind him. Gil York comes out wide to the right side. This time, Homer back to throw on first down. He's going for the big one to Tuttle. He's open. Got it. 35, 30-yard line. An impossible catch. That ball hung up there a little bit, or it would have been touchdown because Perry had to slow down about a step towards the end just before the reception to make the grab, but it is first and 10 Tigers at the 29 of the game cut. A 55-yard pass play. Here's Stockstill wide to the right side. In the slot right, it will be Gilliard. Jordan sets them down in the eye with Gilliard in motion from right to left. Homer takes out. Rolling left, turns it upfield on the run, gets into about the 25, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. Wolf Cater was there defensively for South Carolina. Tell you what, Perry Tuttle did not have any problem beating them deep that time, and had it, as I said, been thrown just about two yards deeper downfield, he would have gone all the way. Jimmy had to kind of reach down to around his knees to catch the ball, and running full speed, it was hard to do. First first down they picked up this afternoon. Magwood goes left, stock still flanks to the right side. It is second down, five yards to go, Tigers at the 24-yard line of the Gamecocks. Homer Jordan, up under center, has them in the eye, gives this time to McCall, who dives straight ahead for one yard at the 23, and that's it as he stacked up there. Defensively, South Carolina had Emmanuel Weaver and Andrew Province on the tackle. A gain of one, it will be third down and four for the Tigers. Tuttle's getting back in now. Out comes Stockstill, out comes Magwood, Gilliard now jog jogs in there. Tuttle will go to the left side, to the near side, Gilliard. I formation, McCall and McSwain standing in behind. Homer Jordan at quarterback. Third down and four. In motion, it's Tuttle from the left side. Back to throw. Jordan looking, firing, and incomplete. Intended for Jerry Gilliard down inside the 15. Chuck Finney was there covering. And so it will now be fourth down, and here comes Obed Arreary with Bo Blanton to hold as Obed will try for his 22nd field goal of the year. It will be an effort of 41 yards directly in line with the goal post. Ball will be spotted at the 31-yard line. We await the snap, the spot. Obed's kick is up. His kick has the distance. His kick is good! Obed Arreary boots one through from 41 yards. The Tigers are out on top of the game. There is a timeout with the score. Clemson 3, South Carolina nothing. This the Clemson Football Network. Five plays is what it took the Tigers, starting back around their own 16-yard uh, line. The big pass play, of course, was from uh, Jordan to Tuttle. Took the ball to the Gamecocks. Oh, somewhere around that 30-yard uh, line. From there, the Tigers were unable to punch it on in, but Obed put it up from 41 yards, putting the Tigers out front 3-0 with 447 to go in the first quarter. Obed tees the ball up now at the 40-yard line. So the Tiger defense has certainly done the job so far this afternoon. We mentioned earlier, Rogers, five carries, 36 yards. Once again, it will be Horace Smith up the middle, Percy Reeves to the near side, Carl West sprints out to the far side. The triple back for the Gamecocks awaiting Obed Arreary's kickoff here after the Tigers move on top three to nothing. 4.47 remaining in the first quarter of play here at the Valley this afternoon as Obed now approaches the football high and over and kick again deep. Again, nine yards into the end zone and once more it is Forrest Smith grabbing, touching it down. It'll come out to the 20 where it'll be first and 10 for South Carolina. So far they've been able to deny the Gamecock much field position. All right, let's check and see if George Rogers gets back in there now for South Carolina. He was out for three of the plays during that last series. 
Well, we get word that they are taping his arm along the sideline. Well, he, is he in there? Yes. He is in there. Has tape on his arm. All right, that's Carl West on the carry from fullback. Goes straight ahead for about three out to the 23-yard line. Yes, Rogers in at tailback, but he is wearing some tape on that left arm now. So evidently was injured on the previous series. Second down seven, South Carolina, the ball at their own 23. The Tigers on top, three to nothing. Wide to the left side, they bring Tim Gillespie. They'll line up in the eye. Gary Harper at quarterback now. Sends Gillespie in motion from left to right. Then he stops and comes back to the left. The pitch back to Rogers, a flag down as he crosses the 25 to the 27 yard line. A flag on the play, and we'll get the indication on this. Underwood was there along with James Robinson for the Tigers and Jack Cade. They're discussing it with South Carolina, so obviously the penalty will go against the Tigers. They'll take it back to the original line of scrimmage, the 23, and march it off from there. Five-yard penalty, moves it out to the 28-yard line. Tigers were offside. So an offside call against the Tigers, and of course that was about the yardage that South Carolina had gained anyhow, but this way they got second down all over again. It's going to be closer to second and three as it's just across the 27-yard line. Wide to the left side comes Horace Smith. Now Chivers is in the slot left. High formation behind Harper. Gary back to throw here. Quick throw is caught out around the 35, and that's Chivers who was chased out of bounds at that point. Willie Underwood and Hollis Hall were in pursuit. Nice one-handed grab that time as he went up and pulled it in. So at the first down game, Cox, they've marked it at their 36-yard line. Tigers penalized twice for 20 yards this afternoon. And one of them was a very costly one. South Carolina coming out again. Gillespie wide to the left side. Again, they line up in the eye. Harper at quarterback. Moves up under center now. Sends in motion. Gillespie from left to right. Pitch back to Rogers. Sweeping out to his right. Running room as he's around the corner at the 40. 45 midfield. In at the 40. And finally chased out of bounds at the Tiger 29-yard line by Jeff Davis. And there you get an indication of the quick moves of George Rogers because they had strung him out, looked as if they were about to gather him up, and he just accelerated, took one more step outside, and he was down the sideline. What a running back. Ball at the 29-yard line of the Tigers, first and 10 for the Gamecocks. They'll send Horace Smith wide to the right side. Line up with double tight ends. I formation behind Harper at quarterback. The give this time is up the middle for Carl West. Straight ahead, booms his way to about the 27. Is hit there by Davis and Durham of the Tigers. Jeff Davis, Steve Durham. They have marked it at the 26. The pickup is three. It'll be second and seven. Rogers, seven carries, 74 yards. Here we're still in the first quarter. He's out. Percy Reeves has checked in at tailback now. Carl West, the fullback. Wide to the left comes Tim Gillespie. Harper at quarterback. Now sends right in motion. Pitch back. That is tailback Percy Reeves driving straight ahead, crossing the 25 into about the 22-yard line. And knocked down there as leading the charge was Bill Smith of the Tigers. So it will be third down. Three yards to go, Gamecocks. They're at the 22-yard line of the Tigers. Clemson on top, three to nothing. Horace Smith comes wide to the left side. Once again, Carl West and Percy Reeves line up. Pitch back to Reeves. Sweeps outside, didn't get it. Knocked down around the 21-yard line by Willie Underwood, who was coming up in run support that time, and knifed Reeves' legs out from under him. They will mark it at the 22-yard line. No gain on the play. It's fourth and three, and here comes the field goal unit for South Carolina. Eddie Leppard who has been perfect all year, has not missed a field goal try, has not missed an extra point. He'll boot one from 39 yards. It will be at the right hash mark. We await the snap. And the spot, Leopard's kick is up. His kick is good. So Eddie Leopard hits a 39-yard field goal 
to answer Obata Reary's 41 yarder with a minute 51 remaining in the first quarter of play. Timeout of the field to score Tigers three, South Carolina three, and this is the Clemson Football Network. Okay, took the uh, Gamecock seven plays, starting back on their own 20-yard line, where Leopard put it in from a 39 yards out, tie the ball game up at 3-3, still a minute 51 to go in the first quarter. A good ball game. We've seen some offensive show, but mostly a defensive battle thus far. Okay, that time again, kickoff time. Kevin Mack backed up deep to receive for the Tigers. John Tanner to kick off for South Carolina. High boot. Mack comes out, gathers it in at the 5, sweeps to his left at the 10, gets out to the 15, the 17-yard line, and knocks down there as Mike Dura was across for South Carolina to make the tackle on it. So the Tigers will start first and 10 from their 17-and-a-half-yard line. We're in a tie game at 3. McSwain and McCall will be the running back, Homer Jordan at quarterback. Magwood, along with Gilliard and Tuttle, are all in there, I believe. As they come out, Magwood goes to the left side. Tuttle comes to this veneer side with Gilliard as a slot on the right side. Homer Jordan, the quarterback, sets them down in the eye. Takes out. Gives to McCall. Straight ahead. Booms his way to the 21-yard line. That's a pickup of four. It'll be second down and six as Walt Cater was there along with Andrew Province to make the defensive play for South Carolina. Getting in now is freshman tight end Jeff Wells. Magwood comes out. Jim, across the way on the Carolina bench, it appears as if they have an ice pack possibly on the right knee of George Rogers. I don't know what all they're doing over there. Tuttle comes wide to the right side now. Gilliard splits out left. Second down, six. Homer to throw. Quick out for Tuttle. He's got it. Out of bounds at the 28-yard line. And that will be enough for a Tiger first down as Chuck Finney was over defending for South Carolina. But Tuttle knew exactly where he was. Homer threw to the spot. And it's enough for a first down Tiger. Tuttle has already caught more passes than any junior in Clemson history. 50 receptions coming into the game. And two this afternoon, one a mighty big one, 55 yards. So it'll be first and 10 Tigers. Ball at their own 28-yard line. A minute 10 remaining in the first quarter. Tuttle goes to the left side. Gilliard goes in the slot, and Magwood splits off right end. Jordan sets McCall and McSwain in the eye. Back to throw. Now rolling to his right as he's being chased. Homer going to run with it. Gets back out to about the 28, and down he goes at that point as Ed Baxley is across and knocks him down. Left linebacker Ed Baxley making the defensive play. Jordan gets one yard. It will be second down and nine as his receivers were well covered. Homer was hemmed into his left. He had to reverse his field and come back right. And now is faced with a second and nine situation. Wide to the left side goes Stockstill. Double tight end offense, Wells to the left side, Worst on the right side. High formation behind Jordan at quarterback. Homer moves up under center now, takes out this time, riding it off to the first man through. That's McCall, and he dives out across the 30 to the 32-yard line where he is hit by right side linebacker Walt Cater. So it will be third down, six yards to go now for the Tigers. Here comes Gilliard and Tuttle back in, stock still and Worst checking out. A parrot passing down for the Tigers. Jordan, two for three, 61 yards this afternoon. Tuttle goes wide to the left side. Gilliard will split off right end. Third down, six yards to go, and now time runs out here. The first quarter has ended with the score. Tigers three, South Carolina three.
fantastic meet tonight, and you know what it's like in Flag Recreation Center. The meet is open to the public with no admission charge. We get ready to start the second period. It's a 3-3 ball game. Tigers have the football, a big third down and long situation back in their own, oh, let's say the 32-yard uh, line. And here they come against a good, tough Gamecock defense. Third and six. Magwood left, Tuttle flanks right. Eye formation behind Jordan. Here's Tuttle in motion from right to left. Back to throw. Homer Jordan has time. Now running on the left side. Gets up to the 35. Slips and goes down as he tried to cut back into the middle. Pat Bowen was there to cover on him. I think Homer may have had enough for first down yardage had his feet not gone out from under him. But it will be putting time for the Tigers. Troy Thomas is backed up to receive. Richard Henley will kick for the Tigers. Awaiting the snap. Henley has it. Gets the kick away, hits it end over end. Thomas lets it hit at the 33 and goes out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So the Gamecocks will put it in play. First and 10, they'll mark it at the 34-yard line. I want to say hello to Tiger fans listening today in Bamberg on WWBD-FM. Also in Batesburg on WBLR Radio. First and 10, Gamecocks. A 3-3 football game. We're just into the second quarter of play. The ball at the 34-yard line of the Gamecocks. Wide to the left side goes Horace Smith. Carl West at fullback. George Rogers is back at tailback. Gary Harper now has a slot on the left side. That's Shivers. Back to throw. Harper looking over the middle and firing. It is complete. And that is to his tight end, Willie Scott. And Scott is going to be hammered down right around the 37-yard line. Danny Triplin and Willie Underwood were there. And Ken, if you'll reflect back to a year ago, they sent Willie Scott over the middle on a delay. Harper found him. It was a big gainer that led to the only touchdown of that game. That's right. That's one of the things that Danny Ford said they had to do this afternoon was to stop that play right there. They did a good job. Well, it's marked at the 48 or 38 yard line, so it's a pickup of four. It'll be second down and six. To the near side, the right side, Tim Gillespie, a slot right as Chivers. Harper has them in the eye. This time gives to Rogers straight ahead, but nowhere to go as he is knocked down at the 39. The ball pops out. However, I believe they'll rule that the whistle had blown prior to it popping out. Tigers thought they had it. When Rogers was hit, he went down. Well, there's still celebration by the Tigers. Let's see what the call is going to be here. The officials have not indicated one way or the other. I see the referee way down there in the bottom of that stack. Just see the white hat sticking out. Yes. It is Clemson football. George Rogers fumbled, and getting it was Jeff Davis. Joey Glenn made the hit. It popped out, and Davis comes up with it. The Tigers have it at the 39-yard line of South Carolina. What is it they say in the pros? The officials stay away and let the strongest man come out of there with the football. That looks as though they may have done that in this game right there. Clemson with the first big break of the afternoon. Tuttle goes wide right. Gilliard a slot right. Magwood splits off left end. Now, Coach Carlin has called the referee over. He wants an explanation as to what possibly could have happened and why they took so long to um, give a sign or make an indication. And Gary Harper is a little upset, too. Well, they have to restrain Gary a little bit. He wanted to go over and talk to the official. And, of course, Jim Carlin, knowing that he didn't want to get a flag on one of his players arguing with the official, has one of his big linemen restrain Harper back there. And Harper's not the kind of young man who gets upset too easily. McCall will be at fullback. McSwain the tailback for the Tigers. Now Stockstill has checked in. He comes wide to the left side. It's Tuttle going out far right. And a slot right is Gilliard. Homer Jordan up under center now. First and 10 at the 39-yard line of the Gamecocks. Jordan takes out, drops the throw, fires. It is caught down at the 31-yard line. And that was Jerry Gilliard with the reception. Pat Bowen, strong safety, came across to hit him. A gain of eight. It'll be second down and two at the 31-yard line of the Gamecocks. Now, remember, the Gamecocks are giving up 177 yards in the air per game, but only 123 on the ground. So if you've got to go against them, you've got to put it up sometime and loosen them up a bit. Out come the Tigers. Tuttle will come to the left side. It will be Gilliard in the slot again, and Magwood splits off right in. Homer Jordan from the eye. 
Back to throw again. Now being chased and going to be knocked down back around the 47-yard line by Andrew Province, who was coming hard that time. Somebody missed a block on him, and he chased Jordan down. They'll mark it at the 46-yard line. So now it will be third and 17. The Tigers have failed to convert four times on third down situations this afternoon. This is a very big one because that takes you way, way out. It looks like field goal range unless you get some of that back. All right, it's at the 46-yard line of the Gamecocks. Stock still goes to the right side. Tuttle will split left. Gilliard will be a slot on the left side. Jordan has McCall and McSwain down. Homer back to throw. Big rush on him again. Rolls right. Fires. Great catch by Gilliard. Back in at the 38-yard line. Out of bounds he goes. Ed Baxley forced him out there. Jordan doing a good job of throwing on the run. And what a great reception that time by Jerry Gilliard. But not enough for a first down. Not enough to get close enough to attempt a field goal. And Richard Henley is on now to punt. Thomas backs up deep. Henley's kick away. Fair catch called for at the 13-yard line. That's where South Carolina will put it in play first and ten. A punt of 28 yards by Richard Henley. And South Carolina now starting with the football at their own 13-yard line. First quarter, North Carolina leads Duke 14 to nothing. Also in the first quarter, East Carolina leads ANC State 14 to 7. Second quarter action here at the Valley. 11.39 remaining, 3-3 game. Carl West, George Rogers, lined up in the eye behind Gary Harper. Flanker to the left side. He comes in motion right. That is Smith. Here's the give to Rogers. Comes up over the 20, out to the 21, down around the 22-yard line goes George Rogers, hit there by Joey Glenn. 15 seconds for station identification on the Clemson Football Network. Second down and one for the Gamecocks. Football is at the Tiger 21 and a, or at the Gamecock 21 and a half yard line. They are in possession. Gillespie is flanked out right. They send right in motion now to the left side. Give to Rogers. Comes up over 25, 30, 32 yard line. Fumble. I believe after the ball had been blown dead this time, however. And that is, in fact, what they will rule it. Rogers was down. The ball came out. Tigers jumped on it. However, that time he had hit the ground. Again, he goes out and Percy Reeves is checking in. George Rogers, without question, Ken, in my mind, is playing injured. Well, he probably gets more hits than any back in the country, and they've already worked on a knee or a leg, and they have wrapped up an arm. Could be for these fumbles. Well, we have a timeout requested now by South Carolina, stopping the clock with 10.36 left in the half. With timeout, the score, Clemson 3, South Carolina 3. This is the Clemson Football Network. Ladies and gentlemen, Stadium Security reminds you Rose is sitting down. First quarter score, East Carolina 14, North Carolina State 7. Want to say hello to Tiger fans in the Columbia area who are listening on WCOS-FM. And, of course, all the folks who listen throughout the state of South Carolina and all through a tri-state area, of course, on WFPC AM and FM, our pilot station in Greenville. Tim Rogers has nine carries, 92 yards already. As you pointed out to me during the uh, timeout, Chuck Rose is just sitting on the bench down here, not playing. He doesn't appear to be really seriously injured. Well, we don't know what the extent of his injury is. However, he has not played since that second series. Set to go with Smith flanked to the right side. Harper's back to throw. He's going to go deep, looking for Smith. Smith is out there. The pass is com incomplete down at the 25-yard line. Actually, he had beaten Anthony Rose. Rose had lost sight of the ball. However, Smith couldn't quite come up with it. So a dropped pass that was pretty well thrown on the numbers, I'll tell you. Yeah, it was laid it right in there. It was a big gainer. So back it comes to the 32-yard line where it'll be second down and 10 for the Gamecocks. 
Harper's three for five, 25 yards in passing so far. Basically, he likes to throw the ball short and let his receivers pick up the yardage. Gillespie comes wide to the right side. George Rogers back in with Carl West at fullback now as Harper sets them down in the eye. This time gives to Rogers. Going to his left, he'll be knocked out at the 35. The first to get to him was Steve Durham, and he wrestled him to the ground after a pickup of two. And it now will become the third down, eight yards to go for South Carolina. Durham was right there, refused to be taken out of the play. Well, that's definitely one time that uh, somebody was able to handle Rogers man for man. Well, he beat Slaughter that time, as Danny Ford indicated he would have to do. That's Steve Durham who did. Set to go now with Horace Smith flanked to the right side. Eye formation once again behind Harper at quarterback. Gary sets them down. Third down and eight. Drops the throw. Looking, firing on the right side. It is incomplete. Anthony Rose there to break it up. Intended for Horace Smith. And it will be fourth down. The Gamecocks will be forced to punt the football. Ooh, how close he looked like he was, was to picking that one off, Jim. He was. Mm. A lot of people felt that the contact should have been pass interference, but not in that case because both players were going for the yeah, football, and the defender has as much right to go for it as does the offensive player. Norman is back to punt. Billy Davis back up for the Tigers to receive. High snap, but he gets it, pulls it down, and hits it high end over end. Smith waiting, gathers it in his 24 to the 25, up the sideline at 30, gets up to about the 35, and is knocked out of bounds across the way. So the Tigers will have pretty good field position as... Dell Wilkes came down to knock Billy Davis down after a 41-yard punt by Norman. And listen to the fans here at the Valley. They're enthused. <laughs> Loving that defense so far. <laughs> Tigers with the football at their own 35-yard line. This is a 3-3 football game. Magwood goes right. Tuttle comes left. Gilliard slots on the left side. Homer Jordan sets them down. He's back to throw, looking, firing for Tuttle. He's got it, 40, 45, midfield, into Gamecock territory, and bounced out of bounds, down around the 46-yard line. Pat Bowen was there defensively. They'll rule Perry stepped out of bounds at the 49, but it's enough for a Tiger first down. Well, he was wide open out there. I don't know if he ran that good a pattern or if somebody made a mistake. Pickett, fullback, McSwain, tailback. Stockdale goes wide right. Gilliard is a slot right. Magwood splits off left end. First and 10 at the 48-yard line of South Carolina. Tigers with the football. Here's Jordan on a misdirect pitch back to McSwain. 45, Chuck to the 40, down to the 37-yard line, and that'll be enough for another Tiger first down as Chuck Allen, defensive tackle, comes across to make the play, and Edgar Pickett that time was out in front, leading a block for his tailback, Chuck McSwain. I think they're going to bring the chains over or not, no? Ah, they yeah. may, but I'm yeah. right on the line here, and I think it has to be a first down because they were across the 38, and they needed only to get to the 38-yard line, Ken. While they're coming across, Jordan's five for six in the air, 93 yards already. Most of them to Tuttle. Yeah, they've got it by a yard. I knew that. I was right on yeah. line with it. Four first downs for the Tigers this afternoon. The Gamecocks have six so far. 3-3 three, three football game. 9-15 remaining in the half. Clemson with the football at the 37-yard line of the Gamecocks now. And Wilbur Bullard's in at tailback. Here's Jordan. Sending stock still wide to the right side with Gilliard in the slot. The give this time is to McCall on a quick hitter straight ahead inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. Or pick it, I mean. Edgar Pickett, the fullback, hit by Walt Cater, and he took that ball so quickly from Homer Jordan that Homer looked down and said, what? He was, he was moving so fast, I thought he had moved before the snap also. He, he fired out very well. That's a 33-yard line, a pickup of five. It'll be second and five. Stock still goes wide right. Gilliard a slot. Magwood splits off left end. Set to go once again as Jordan moves up under center now. Tigers bedecked in total orange here this afternoon. Takes out. Rolls to his right, looking to throw. Firing. Has stock still. Incomplete along the sidelines. He made the grab, but he didn't get a foot down inbounds. Chuck Finney was there covering for the Gamecocks. So it goes as an incomplete pass. Barry Tuttle has 
set a single season reception record here this afternoon for a junior with 54 receptions. At 50 coming in, has picked off four here this afternoon. JB had 53. Jerry Butler. All right, set to go. It's third down. Five. Tuttle in motion from left to right. Big play for the Tigers. Jordan back to throw. Has time. Now going to be chased. Come back to his left. He's on the run. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and down to the 30-yard line, and that's as far as he'll go. The receivers were well covered. He was looking for Tuttle that time. Province and Cater had the rush on him, and Tuttle was covered well downfield and could not shake loose. And so Obed will come on to attempt another field goal, and this one will be a 47-yard effort as the tee will be placed around the 47, maybe a little further out. Let's see. Yep, it's going to be a 47-yard effort by Obed O'Reary. Bo Blanton to hold. As we await the snap, the spot Obed's kick is up. His kick will be good. Obed O'Reilly from 47 yards out hits his second field goal of the afternoon, his 23rd of the season. That's a new NCAA record. With 7.31 remaining in the first half of play, there's timeout with the score. Tigers 6, the Gamecocks 3. This is the Clemson Football Network. Again, a moment ago, I said the Tuttle had 54 receptions, a record for a junior receiver. That's a, a season record for any class here at Clemson University, 54 receptions. Tigers took six plays, started at their own 35, drove the ball to the 30-yard line of the Gamecocks, could go no farther, and that's where Obed put it in from 47 yards out. It's a 6-3 ball game, 7-31 to go in the half. Obed tees it up now to kick off to the Gamecocks. They have not been able to return any of his kickoffs so far this afternoon. He's put them all in the end zone. All right, he's kicking into a little breeze this time. Horace Smith will be backed up in the middle. Percy Reeves and Carl West flanking him to either side. Obed has a place to his satisfaction. Again, hits it, but it's high and down the left side. Up under it at the 15 is Reeves. Comes out to the 20, 25, 30, 35 to the 36-yard line. Joe Ellis was downfield to make the tackle for the Tigers, but the short high kick that time, and Reeves taking it on the run, returns it out to the 36 where it's first down for the Gamecocks. That's some of the best field position they've had to start a drive, too, Jim. It may be the very best. I want to say hello to fans in Johnston, South Carolina, listening on WJES and in Marion on WATPFM. Gamecocks set to go first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. Jerry Harper takes out. Back to throw on first down, looking over the middle, firing out to the right side. It is caught by Smith, and Smith driven back at about the 44. They will rule that his forward progress carried him to just shy of the 45-yard line, and that'll be a nine-yard pickup on the play. There is a flag, however, back at the line of scrimmage, and let's see what this one's all about. Maybe holding because, oh, wait a minute. Roughing the passer is the call here, so there was a late hit on Gary Harper, and that will cost all the way in to the 40-yard line of the Tigers. So I don't know who had the big rush on that time who may have roughed the passer, but obviously someone did. And so now the first big break of the game for the Gamecocks, as they have it first and 10 at the Tiger 40-yard line. Yeah, that's tagged on at the end of the play. It doesn't go to line of scrimmage. It's tagged on after the completion. Harper has Johnny Wright and George Rogers in the eye. Gillespie splits as a flanker on the right side. Harper now moves up under center. First and set at the Tiger 40. A 6-3 game. Clemson on top. Here comes the blitz. They ride it off to Rogers, and he only gets to the 39, where Dan Benish hauls him down. They were coming with a blitz from Danny Triplett. Rogers outstepped that, but then Benish stepped up into the gap and made the hit on Rogers, and they have marked it right at the 40. Just negligible gain. It'll be second down along nine. The Tigers don't use a lot of stunts or blitz. That time... Uh 
I think even Rogers picked it up. Wide to the right side comes Horace Smith. High formation again. Second down, nine game cut. Harper moves up under center. Long counts this time. Takes out, pitch back. Rogers sweeping to his right. Finds running room into the 35, and down he goes there. Again, Triplett is up on the tackle with help from Bill Smith. Also, Jeff Davis there defensively. They have marked it just over the 35 at the 34 and a half yard line, so it'll be third. We'll call it four for the game cut. Five minutes, 48 seconds remaining here in the second quarter of play. Tigers on top, six to three on the leg of Obed Ariri. Of course, Leopard's field goal getting the three points on the board for the Gamecocks. They'll bring Gillespie wide to the right side as a flanker. They'll line up in the I formation. Fans on their feet here at the Valley as Harper now moves up under center. In motion goes Gillespie from right to left. Harper takes out, gives to Rogers, and he is knocked down shy of a first down at the 31-yard line. Steve Durham knifing across, made the tackle with help from Jack Kane. And so now a decision to be made by South Carolina. They rule he went down at the 32. He is two yards shy of a first down, and it is fourth and two game cut. Along the sidelines, Jim Carlin looks at it. He'll go for it as he sends Horace Smith in with the play. Horace Smith coming in with the play from the bench. Fourth down and two. Gamecocks at the Tigers' 32-yard line. Out they come. Smith flanks to the left side. They line up in an eye. Gary Harper shouting down the line of scrimmage now. Moves up under center. Here it is. In motion. Smith pitch back to Rogers. Down at the 33-yard line. Nice and throw was Jeff Bryant. He hit him in the backfield, and Rogers goes down. The Tigers hold on a South Carolina gamble, and they get the football. Boy, you talk about some happy fans. The Tiger defense so far has been playing at a great intensity. The question is if they can keep it up. North Carolina's moved on top of Duke, 23 to nothing in the second quarter. Here come the Tigers now on first and 10 from their own 34-yard line. Jordan back to throw, rolling right, firing over the middle. It is incomplete out of the 49-yard line. He undershoots the intended receiver, his tight end. Jeff Wells, the freshman, tried to come back to the ball but couldn't quite get it. Baxley was covering on him there. Okay, that time a little... A little time to throw for Jordan as he was rolling to the right. Tigers mostly use a sprint out or a roll pass. They don't do too much drop back passing. Second quarter, Michigan, Ohio State, no score. Second quarter, Oklahoma leads Nebraska 14 to 10. Tigers set to go now. Second down and 10 from their own 34 as Jordan brings them out in the eye. Takes out. This time tries to pitch. He is hit as he does. McSwain chases it down and sweeps to his left. Gets a block. Back to the 30 and down at the 31 yard line. McSwain making a big loss into a little loss as Troy Thomas chased him down just as Homer Jordan was pitching back. He was really smashed out there. I don't know who got through to him. And the ball went wide of McSwain, but he picks it up and returns to the 31. It's third down and 13. Gill Yard comes left. Tuttle goes to the right side as a flanker. Third and 13, Tigers. Jordan has them in the eye. Homer now. Well, the late snap. The line all moved out there, but uh, Tony Berryhill failed to snap the football, and Homer waiting for it, waiting for it. The flags went down. That'll be illegal procedure against the Tigers, I would expect. Illegal procedure is indicated against... But Berryhill just missed the snap call that time. So it sets them back now to the 25-yard line. Down. Magwood coming in. He'll bring a play from the bench. Tigers penalized four times for 40 yards. East Carolina still leading NC State. They're in the second period. Pirates 14, Wolfpack 7. Yale leads Harvard 7-0 at the half. And Maryland, a 3-0 leader over Virginia in the second quarter. Tuttle wide right. Gilliard slot right. Magwood splits off left end. Third down 18. Jordan back to throw. Firing deep. This was for Tuttle. And intercepted down at the 33-yard line of South Carolina. Picking it off was Harry Skipper. He made a brilliant play that time because Tuttle had moved over under the ball. And at the very last second, just as it was to reach his hands, Skipper came across and picked it off. 
So the Gamecocks have it at their own 33. But you know, in reality, that's just about as good as a punt, Ken. About the same thing as uh, getting a punt off down there. 32-yard line, 33-yard line. Pretty good field position for the Gamecocks. Not bad for the Tigers. Out comes Carolina. Harper has Wright and Rogers in the eye. Sends Smith wide to the left side as a flanker. Now right in motion to the right. Back to throw. Harper looking, firing. It is, oh, almost intercepted by Anthony Rose. The intended receiver that time was Johnny Wright. Rose had it timed perfectly and cut across in front. It hit him on the shoulder pad and bounded away. That was almost six on the board for the Tigers there. That's twice they've almost cut inside that man on that down and out thing. It's got to give the uh, Gamecock coaching staff some pause to uh, wonder about that. 33-yard line, the line of scrimmage. Second down, 10. The lefty goes wide to the left side. High formation again behind Gary Harper, quarterback. 6-3 football game. Tigers lead with 3.06 remaining in the half. This time they ride it off to Rogers. Comes straight ahead over left tackle. Booms his way out to the 39-yard line and is hit there by James Robinson of Jeff Davis. So the pickup is six. It'll be third down and four for the Gamecocks now. That guy draws a crowd. He gets a lot of hits in there, Jim, and he gets it a little slowly this time, but he keeps coming right back at you. Well, a Heisman Trophy candidate, an All-American, a sure first-round draft choice. Ball is at the 39 of the Tigers. It is third down. Call it five for the Gamecocks now. Set to go with Smith. Flank to the left side. Eye formation behind Gary Harper. Harper takes out. He'll drop the throw. Has time. Firing deep down the left side for Smith. And he can't hang on at the 41-yard line. It's incomplete. Hollis Hall was there covering. And so South Carolina again will have to relinquish the football. First quarter, Citadel three. Furman nothing. First quarter, Tennessee seven, Kentucky nothing. First quarter, Indiana three, Purdue nothing. Michigan, Ohio State in the second quarter, no score. Chris Norman on the punt. Billy Davis backed up deep for the Tigers to receive. 2.20 left in the half. Awaiting the snap now. A low snap, but Norman gets it up and gets it away. A shanker to the right side. It's going to hit around the 30 of the Tigers and bounds back out to about the 32, and that's where it will go down. A punt of only 30 yards this time by Norman, and the Tigers take over first and 10 with the football at their own 32-yard line. They're leading six to three in the game. After this next play, we'll get station identification along our Clemson network this afternoon. Out they come, Tuttle goes wide to the right side. Gilliard will slot right. Magwood splits off left end. McSwain joins McCall in the eye behind Jordan. Homer back to throw on first down. Rolling right. Now going to run with it. Gets back up over the 30 to the 32 again and is hauled down there. 15 seconds for station identification on the Clemson Football Network. Back here again in the Valley. Second down and 10 for the Tigers from their own 32. They're leading this game 6-3 to three on two Obed Arreary field goals with a minute 35 left in the half. Stock still comes left. Gilliard, who was a slot right, now comes in motion to the left side as Jordan takes out. This time is back to throw once more. Rush on him, fires a screen to McSwain. Chuck gets out to the 35, tries to reverse his field. Nowhere to go. He's knocked down right around the 35-yard line. Ed Baxley and Walt Cater came up quickly, reading that screen very, very well. <laughs> Tigers only put that screen in, or have been using it, I should say, the last couple of weeks. They weren't using it any at all before the Maryland game, and got a little yardage out of it last week. This time, McSwain unable to get the good blocking to get out of there. 0 for 7 in third down conversions, Jim. Third and 7. Tuttle wide right. Gilliard slot right. Jordan rolling right throwing and complete out across the 45 Ed Baxley makes the hit on Jerry Gilliard who gets a first down grab at the 47 yard line 43 seconds remaining in the half and the Tigers are going to stop the clock for a timeout with timeout on the field the score here at the Valley Clemson 6 South Carolina 3 this is the Tiger Football Network Second quarter, 
second quarter, Oklahoma 14, Nebraska 10. Second quarter, Maryland 3, Virginia nothing. First quarter, Tennessee 7, Kentucky nothing. Well, obviously, with 43 seconds remaining on the clock, the Tigers would like to at least get into position to let Obed flex his right leg once again, Ken. They sure would. By the way, Jordan is now 7 for 11, 109 yards. Rogers has 107 yards in carry so far this afternoon, too. Tuttle wide left. Your yard slot left. Stock still splits off right end. Jordan's back to throw. This time has time. Fires. Complete the go yard, and he steps out of bounds at the 46-yard line of the game card. Troy Thomas in pursuit. Jerry Gilliard with his third reception of the afternoon. Makes the grab at the sidelines. Gets out of bounds. Stopping the clock with 37 seconds remaining in the half. That was a pickup of eight. It will bring about second down. Make it a seven-yard pickup. Second and three for the Tigers. Tuttle again goes wide right. Gilliard slots right. Magwood splits off left end. Four-man front for the Gamecocks. Back to throw Jordan. Has time. And hit as he throws. It goes incomplete as he threw the arm forward. He was hit by the middle guard, Emmanuel Weaver. He was looking for Tuttle crossing over the middle. So it now will be third down and three for the Tigers at the 46-yard line of the Gamecocks. Now Furman has moved out on top of the Citadel, 7-3 to three in that first quarter of play. And Michigan and Ohio State are at the half. They're still tied, but each has a field goal. It's 3-3. Three, three. Tuttle wide right, Gill yard slot right. Stock still splits off left end. On a draw, the delay to McSwain, 40, down to the 36-yard line. Chuck McSwain, that's enough for a Tiger first down. Ed Baxley makes the hit on him. The clock stops with 26 seconds as they move the yard markers now. And timeout has been requested once more by the Tigers. So with a timeout of the field, 26 seconds remaining in the half, the score here at the Valley, Clemson 6, South Carolina 3, and this is the Tiger Football Network. Well, there are 26 ticks of the clock remaining up there on the scoreboard in this first half of play. The Tigers have the football. They have the lead 6-3. to three. They're at the 36-yard line of South Carolina. Tuttle goes wide right. Gilliard slots. Jordan back to throw. Looking, firing over the middle. Wide open is Magwood. He's at the 15 and down to the 11-yard line. Still 19 seconds remaining here in the first half of play, and the clock stops as they'll bring the chain markers down. They flooded receivers all over that time, and Magwood broke wide open over the middle. Tigers are lined up, ready to go as soon as they put the ball in play. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Homer Jordan up under center, takes out. Now going to throw it out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with 13 seconds and give the Tigers an opportunity to discuss their strategy now. They'll probably call a minimum of two plays, probably more like three plays, hoping to get three off prior to a field goal attempt. And remember, the Tigers do have at least one timeout left. That is important. In fact, that is the all-important thing at this point, unless they could score on the first play. Jordan 9 for 15, 142 yards uh, already. Well, we've seen a lot of offense, have, have seen no more scoring than we've seen. Rogers 107 yards, uh, rushing in 15 carries. All right, here come the Tigers now. Tuttle is out. Stock still is in. Gilliard's a slot left, and Magwood splits off right end. Jordan being blitzed. They ought to be thrown, fumbles the ball, and I believe the Gamecocks have it at the 15. They do. Homer Jordan was stripped of the ball as South Carolina came with a blitz that time. Phil Ellis came up with the loose football. So now the Gamecocks have it with seven seconds remaining in the half. Attendance, 64,200, a new attendance record for a Clemson-South Carolina game, but it is not a stadium record. 64,558 at the VPI game this year is the record. 
And I'll explain to you in a moment why that's a record and this isn't. Here's South Carolina with the ball, and they're just going to fall on it, but they'll let the clock run out now. Four, three, two, and one. The first half has ended. And the first half saw these two teams battle it out here this afternoon, toe to toe. And the toe of Obed Ariri, or the instep of Obed Ariri, as opposed to the instep of Eddie Leppard, was two to one, and that's the margin by which the Tigers lead. Out comes Gillespie, flanked to the right side. Harper again sets them in the eye. It is second down for South Carolina at the Tiger 25. Johnny Wright's in motion. Here's the pitch back to Rogers. He's got running room at the 20. Rogers down to the 17 yard line before he is finally pulled down. Jeff Davis and Anthony Rose combining their efforts to drag him down at that point. But it is another first down for the Gamecocks. This drive started at their own 44 yard line. And their offense right now working like a well oiled machine. Horace Smith goes wide to the left side. Cornette again will slot left. The crowd on its feet here at the Valley as Harper moves up under center. Shouts out to his wide receivers now. Moves up under the ball. Takes out. Gives to Rogers. Rogers straight ahead. Crosses the 15 to the 14 yard line. And that's as far as you'll get as Steve Durham is there with Dan Benish. So now mark the football in at the 14 yard line. Gain was three. It will be second down and seven. Jim, I noticed in the first half. Uh, Harper does not let this crowd shake him up at all. He just goes ahead and calls his play and uh, runs the football. Gillespie well, comes flanked to the right side. Again, they'll line up in the I formation. Harper once more shouting instructions out to his wide people. Does Gillespie in motion from right to left. Pitch back to Rogers going to the left side. He gets a block on the corner, but a good defensive play over there. Getting to him was Bill Smith, who knifed through a blocker and knocks Rogers down at the 15-yard line. Mm. Jeff Davis was also there defensively. Big, big play that time by the Tiger defense as they spill Rogers for a yard loss. Third down, Gamecock. Out wide to the right side, they'll bring Horace Smith. Again, they're in the I formation as Harper moves up under center. Now Johnny Wright in motion to the right side. The pitch back to Rogers again. Over right tackle. He'll not get it as he is knocked down around the 13-yard line. And it's Jeff Davis once again. Head up on him. Davis meets him, knocks him backward. And it is fourth down game. Cox, and here comes Eddie Leppard now to attempt to tie this football game. Boy, that's defense at its finest right there. Five out of seven times in that series, Rogers carried the ball. And they were able to finally stop it. Eddie Leppard. Will try a field goal of 29 yards. Holding will be Tim Rhino. Leopard is perfect. Has hit every field goal he's attempted this year at every extra point. He catches this one up, and this one is good. And we have a timeout with 10:27 left in the third quarter of play here at the Valley. The Tigers six, South Carolina six. This is the Clemson Football Network. Eddie Leppard's 29-yard field goal ties this game at six. It's been the Ariri Leppard day, Ken. It surely has. That is a testing for both defenses and how tough that they are. We knew the Gamecock defense was tough when they came in. The Tigers have had some problems this year, but so far they have arisen to the occasion. Rogers, 20 carries, 132 yards, by the way. Tanner to kick off, backed up deep Kevin Mack for the Tigers. Tanner approaches the football, gets it off high end over end. Mack will back up, let it go over his head, sails through the end zone. It'll come out to the 20, and the Tigers will put it in play first and 10 at that point. So now Clemson with the football once again. They were unable to move on their first series of the second half here. We'll see if they can get something going offensively now. 10-27 remains in the third quarter. Homer Jordan will have Chuck McSwain at tailback. He'll have Jeff McCall at fullback. Perry Tuttle will come to the left side. And Gilliard will split out right. Set to go. First and 10 at the 20. Jordan fakes the handoff. Back to throw. Going for Magwood. Misses him out at the 35. He was under pressure that time. 
as coming was Hal Henderson, the defensive right end. Pat Bowen was back defensively covering on Tuttle. But Homer really didn't have a chance to set up and throw as Henderson had the big rush on him coming from the right side. Jim, so many times when these two ball clubs, or any two that are evenly matched like this, the team with the fewest mistakes usually wins. Tuttle goes wide right. Joe Yard will slot on the right side, and Magwood splits left. Homer again up under center with an eye formation behind him. This time gives to McSwain on the draw. Chuck gets out to about the 24, and down he goes there as Walt Cater, who is back in after having been injured, slams him down. The pickup is four. It'll be third and six for the Tigers. Okay, obvious passing down, at least you would think so. Most everybody in the stadium, and I'm sure those other 11 guys on the field, will be looking for the ball to go in the air this time. Well, I don't know how anyone who cares about this game could not have been with us earlier, but if you weren't, Clemson bedecked in total orange today. Orange pants, orange jerseys, orange helmets. There's Jordan on third down. Firing quickly. First down out across the 30 at the 34-yard line. Jerry Gilliard hit by Chuck Finney. I beg your pardon, that's Jeff Stockstill. Stockstill gets the first down grab on a down-out pattern. Ball at the 33-yard line. It's first and 10, Tiger. Magwood goes right. Tuttle left. Gilliard slot left. Jordan once more sets them down in the eye. The game is tied at six. Homer back to throw. Being rushed, firing for Tuttle. Incomplete, out of bounds along the near sideline at the 45 of the Gamecocks. Troy Thomas again there covering. And once more, the big rush coming. And this time it was Chuck Allen. Defensive tackle from your hometown over there, Ken. Down, down at Anderson, played at Hannah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think Jordan thought that he had been hit a little late on that one, but he really got decked. So it is second down and 10 for the Tigers now. Ball at their own 33 and a half yard line. Stock still goes to the right. Tuttle comes left and Gilliard will slot on the left side. We're getting a good rush on Homer here, and he's not really had a chance to set up and throw. This time he keeps on the option. Turns it outside, gets out to the 40, and bumped out of bounds at the 40-yard line by Andrew Province. So Jordan carrying out to the 40-yard line, where it now will become third down and about four for the Tigers. Six-six football game with 9-12 left in the third quarter. Tigers have converted once on nine tries, and so have the Gamecocks on the third down conversion. Magwood splits off right end, Tuttle comes left. Gilliard a slot on the left side. Eye formation behind Jordan. Homer takes out on the option again. He keeps and trips up as he crosses the 40 to the 42-yard line. Walt Cater was there defensively. And once more, the kicking team on for the Tigers. Once more, backing up will be Troy Thomas to receive for the Gamecocks. Richard Henley to punt. The snap back, Henley has it, gets the kick off, and he hits a high, high end over end kick. Thomas gathering it in at his 23 and down at the 24 yard line as a host of Tiger defenders are there. A 37 yard punt, but good hang time, and downfield quickly that time. Rick Bassich led the charge of Tiger defenders, so South Carolina has a first and 10 at their own 24 yard line in a 6 6 football game. Looked like he couldn't decide whether or not to call a fair catch. Jimmy had one arm almost shoulder high. That's as far as he went with the ball. Percy Reeves is in at tailback now with Johnny Wright, the fullback. Wide right, Horace Smith. Harper up under center. Then Smith in motion from right to left. Harper now takes out. Gives to Reeves. Big hole over left tackle, but a good defensive play as Danny Triplett reached up with an arm and knocked him down as he got out to the 30-yard line. Reeves was set to really ramble that time had Triplett not been able to grab his ankle. A six-yard pickup at second down and four for the Gamecocks. Wasn't looking that closely at that area. Looked like they must have trapped somebody. Thought I saw somebody moving real fast in there for the Tigers on the inside. Jeff Suttle has checked in now. Jack Kane out at free safety. Harper has them down. Has Gillespie wide right. He's in motion to the left side. Harper takes out. Back to throw. Looking down the left side and firing. This one is caught. That's Gillespie. He's out over the 40 to the 44-yard line before he is pulled down by Willie Underwood and Jeff Suttle. Jeff Davis almost got a hand up to deflect that pass away, but he was just about a half step late in getting there. And it's a first down Gamecocks at their own 44-yard line. 
Harper was 4-4-9 in the first half, throwing the ball 34 yards. That's the goal once again. Harper puts them down in the eye, has a flanker to the left side. Pitch back. That's Rogers back in, goes over the left side, crosses the 50 into Tiger territory to the 48-yard line before he is knocked down. Jeff Suttle and Randy Learn are there defensively. Here's the second quarter score. Notre Dame three, the Air Force three. Tennessee, Kentucky tied 7-7 in the first quarter. Michigan nine, Ohio State three in the third quarter. Zaleski comes wide right. They have a slot on the right side now, and that is Ben Cornett. It's Johnny Wright and George Rogers in the eye. The give to Johnny Wright straight ahead. He gets to the 45, and down he goes as he is hit there by the interior of the Tiger defense. Jeff Davis led the charge. East Carolina now leading NC State 14 to 10 at the half. Appalachian 10, Wake Forest 7 at the half. Yale 14, Harvard nothing there in the third quarter, and it's UNC 23, Duke 7 now in the second quarter of play. First and 10 Gamecocks at the Tiger 45. High formation behind Gary Harper at quarterback. Pitch back, Rogers sweeping left. He's got blockers, gets outside at the 40 and bumped out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Chasing him across the way, Randy Learn and Jeff Suttle. But another drive now that is methodically eating up yardage as it started back at the Gamecock 24 and has now carried to the Tigers 38-yard line. 12 first downs for the Gamecock so far. They had seven in the first half. All right, out come the Gamecocks once again. Gillespie will flank to the right side. They'll line up in the eye once more behind Gary Harper at quarterback. Six and a half minutes remaining third quarter action. 6-6 six, six football game right in motion right. Rogers. Outside, 35. Good one-on-one -on -one tackle by little Rod McSwain as he spills Rodgers at the 32-yard line. He went for him down around the ankles and hung on. And Rodgers with a nice little pat to the backside of Rod McSwain. Rodgers out. Percy Reeves checks in. Ball at the 32-yard line of the Tigers where it's another first down for the Gamecocks. Wide to the right side comes Horace Smith. Gamecocks line up again in the eye formation. Gary Harper at quarterback, marking signals. Ben Smith in motion from right to left. Takes out, gives off to Percy Reeves. Reeves going to be hit in the backfield, fumbles the ball, a scramble for it, and let's see. I believe South Carolina will retain possession. I believe the ball bounced out of bounds that time. It was Rod McSwain and Jeff Bryant collaborating to make the hit. The ball went out of bounds just outside the 31-yard line, so it is a pickup of about a half yard on the fumbled football. It will be second down, nine and a half yards to go game cut. <laughs> Gillespie flanks to the short side, the right side of the field. Harper up under center. Gillespie in motion right to left. Pitch back. This is Percy Reed. Got 30, got the 25, got the 20, and all the way down to the 21-yard or the 16-yard line goes Percy Reeves as they got the old alumni sweep to the left side, and boy, he had some blocking. I saw orange bodies hurtling through the air when they were blocked out of the play. Paulus Hall and Jack Kane finally made the tackle. Okay, when Rogers goes out for a rest, as he has now, uh, you don't get a rest because Reeves comes right at you. First and 10, Gamecocks at the Tigers, 16. Harper moves up under center. Takes out, pitch back to Reeves. He'll turn it back inside and knock down right around the 15-yard line by James Robinson. He saw that it was strung out a little bit to the far sideline, so that time Reeves tried to take it back up the middle, and he is knocked down. George Rogers is checking back in now for the Gamecocks. He has 23 carries, 161 yards so far. No gain on that last play. It's still at the 16-yard line. Second down and 10. Gillespie wide to the right side of the flanker. Gary Harper at quarterback setting them down in the eye. Takes out. Back to throw here on second down. Looking and firing. It is intercepted. This may go all the way. Let's see. It is Billy Underwood. He's at the 40, the 30, and out of bounds, I believe. Let's see. 
Yep, out of bounds, back at the 24-yard line. He went all the way to the end zone. George Rogers was in pursuit, but he stepped out of bounds at the 24 as he tried to elude Rogers. Ken, three times today prior to this, we saw Underwood or Anthony Rose step up, almost intercept on that same pattern. This time, Underwood timed it perfectly, and the Tigers have turned it around. Gamecocks were threatening. Now it's Clemson at the 24-yard line of the Gamecocks. Underwood's first interception in 47 games. If you say so. Can't be that many games. Donald goes wide to the right side. Gilliard is split off left end. Homer Jordan up under center. Tigers in the eye. Jordan takes out. Pitch back to McSway. McSwain getting to the corner. He's at the 20. Down the sidelines to the 15, the 14, the 13-yard line. Walt Cater chased him out of bounds, and Homer Jordan was thrown way back to the 30 by one of the Gamecock defenders that time, and Homer a little slow getting up, but he appears to be all right. It is in at the 14-yard line of the Gamecocks. Jim, we uh, going back to the interception, I hate to say that, uh, brag on ourselves, but we had called it earlier, as you said, three other times, and we even mentioned that the uh, uh, Gamecock coaches had to be aware of that fact, that that pass was not looking that good out there. Bullard has checked in at tailback now. It is first and 10 Tigers at the 14-yard line of the Gamecock. Stockstill wide to the left side. Homer Jordan sets them down in the eye. Homer on a long count, takes out, drops the throw. This time, going to run with it now, gets back to the 15, and that's all, as his receivers were well covered. Stock still covered in the left corner, and Gilliard covered in the right corner, and Province got to him and knocked him down at the 15 yards loss on the play. McSwain gets back in, Bullard checks out. Tuttle is checking in. Stock still comes out. Okay, Tigers got to make a good call here. Second down, 11. 6-6 six, six football game, 3.38 remaining third quarter. Jordan moves up under center now. High formation again, Tuttle to the left side, two yard right. Homer on the pitch to McSwain, 10, down to the five yard line, goes Chuck McSwain before he is pulled down. And he did a little tightrope walk down the sideline. He's inside the five, shy of a first down by a half a yard. Hit there by Ed Baxley and Troy Thomas, and it was Brad Fisher, the pulling guard, who sprung McSwain down the sideline on the perfect option pitch from Homer Jordan, third in the yard, Tigers, and they want to discuss it, I believe. They have asked for a timeout here, stopping the clock with three minutes remaining in the third quarter. So with timeout on the field, the score, Tigers three, South Carolina three, and this is the Clemson Football Network. Tigers have the football just inside the five-yard line. It'll be third down on the yard to go. Ken, big, 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 big play here. Okay, the running of Chuck McSwain is now becoming a factor of the ball game. Nine carries and 59 yards. Tigers here were knocking on scoring door with a touchdown, a field goal with a lap, about 19 seconds to go in the half. A fumble stopped them there. They're inside the five right now, and they have been denied so many times this year inside the 10. This could be a big one. All right, Stock still goes wide to the right. Gilliard splits off left end. Homer Jordan brings them out in the eye. Jordan, this time on a keep. Straight ahead. Did he get it? Let's see. Oh, it's very close. Ooh. I don't think he's going to get it as he went straight ahead on the quarterback sneak. Officials time out as they'll mark the ball very, very carefully and bring the chain sticks in. Emmanuel Weaver and Andrew Province were there defensively. It would appear... And he may be just a bit shy, but let's wait until they stretch it out and take a look at it. Placing it down now, it's going to be about six, eight inches. Fans want them to go for it. 
Terry Tuttle's coming in. He'll bring a play with him. They will go for it. Fourth down, inches at the four-yard line of the Gamecocks. The Tigers with the football. Giving up an almost a sure three here. It's a gutty call on the part of the coaches, Danny Ford, all of them. Absolutely no hesitation, though. Ricky no. Gray has just checked into the tight end. They'll go to the eye formation, not the power eye, the straight eye. Jordan keeps it. I think he's got it. He does. He surges to the three-yard line. First and goal, Tigers. Jim, I would think that maybe he got a little help from the fullback there. Jeff McCall may have helped him, you think, huh? Well, McCall was right behind him. No question about that. But the surge carries to the three-yard line. It's a first and goal, Tigers. Two minutes, 40 seconds remain here in the third quarter of play. <laughs> Stockstill is going wide to the right side. McSwain the tailback. McCall the fullback. Jordan is at quarterback. Jordan takes out, gives to McSwain straight ahead to the two-yard line. Stacked up there. It'll be second down and goal for the Tigers. Interior middle of the defense for South Carolina. Standing McSwain up. Jim, he didn't have the best grip on that football he ever had when he made it dive into the line then. <laughs> Second down, goal at the two of South Carolina. Tuttle goes wide right. Gilliard slot right. Magwood will come out split left. Tiger set to go. It is second and goal. Homer Jordan takes out. This time giving to McCall. And let's see, he's right down at the goal line. And I believe stacked up just shy of the goal line. Well, I thought the surge had carried him in there and he was pushed back, but the officials say no, he stopped inside the one, so now it is third down and goal. You what? know what I think, Ken? I think you sneaked the QB right here. Well, why not? You don't, you don't um, have the danger of any exchange here if you do that. Well, you hope not, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Tuttle goes wide right. Gilliard will slot inside of him. Stock still comes out wide to the left side. Homer Jordan, at quarterback, has him in the eye. Gives it off to McCall. Touched. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, goodness. Oh. He was in. I guarantee you. Flag down now. Flag on the play. Oh, Jim. I guarantee you. He was in, and the official says no. Denied. But my goodness, Ken, you can see the orange body lying across the goal line down there. McCall wrapped up with the football. With the flag, let's wait to see what it's all about, however. Personal foul, South Carolina. Personal foul, South Carolina. Half the distance, they'd have to set it on the goal line. Okay, but and that would bring with it first down. Would it? Yes, indeed it would. Personal foul is a first down foul. And half the distance is going to place the ball on the goal line. I'll tell you what, though. I want to look at the film. The Jeff McCall was not in that end zone. There aren't 20 people here today. He dragged the man with him or drug, whichever is the proper word for me to use there. But <laughs> well, they say fourth down. I would have to think it would revert to first down, but it does not. Now the referee stepping in. Okay, uh, now they're discussing something here. Ken, on a personal foul penalty, it would have to become first down, would it not? No. They are signaling fourth down and just edges. I don't know what they stopped for. Danny's calling over the sideline, Coach Ford. All right. Danny calling them over to discuss this now. They tell him to get back above the 30-yard line, which is the restraining line there. That's the first penalty, by the way, on the Gamecocks this afternoon. So a long discussion underway down below now. Meantime, the folks over on the Carolina bench wonder what's going on also. Well, that football is buffed right up against the goal line here. They're still indicating fourth down. And, of course, the, uh, now the scoreboard is completely out of whack because it indicates first and four yards to go, <laughs> unless they're talking about four inches there, huh? Oh, it's not even four inches. I don't believe it. <laughs> it be. No, it, it's right up to the goal line. Well, they wind it up now, and we're ready to go. 46 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Gilliard will go wide to the right side. This is it. Homer Jordan brings them out of the eye. Fourth down and goal. Jordan straight ahead. 
Let's see. They're going to unstack them before they make the call. Again, I thought he was in there. I can't see how he wasn't in there. Yes. Touchdown! <laughs> Touchdown, Homer Jordan on the quarterback sneak. And Ken, I'm a little upset at this officiating crew. There's no way. No way you don't indicate touchdown when that ball crosses the plane. And I swear to you, it crossed the plane on the previous play. It crossed the plane again. Yet, they allowed the defense to stack on top before they indicated whether it was touchdown. Here's a Reary's try for the point after. The kick is good. Timeout on the field. The score here at the Valley with 32 seconds left in the third quarter. Clemson 13, the Gamecock 6. This the Tiger Football Network. the valley we have 32 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play tigers have moved out on top of the gamecocks 13 to 6 and they'll be kicking off now took him nine plays to go 24 yards jim and down there neither team was happy over the way the uh, the officiating was handled down around the goal line especially when you wait that long if you're on the other end and the guy scored against you you think well did he crawl after the whistle did he nudge the ball after the whistle and it's you know, everybody's always wondering in those kind of calls. Well, it's all elementary now. It's six mm -hmm. points, seven points on the board for the Tigers. They've taken the lead at 13 to six over South Carolina. Backed up deep, Horace Smith now. Obed Arreary has it on the tee. Weston Reeves will deploy to either side of West or of Smith. Obed now has it placed to his satisfaction. We're all set to go on the kickoff here now with 32 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play at the Valley. Obed approaching the football. Here's his kick. High, end over end. It's going to be Reeves at the 5. Out to the 10. Swings up the middle at the 15, 20, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. That's where South Carolina will start first and 10. As downfield that time was Rick Bassage once again to make the tackle for the Tigers. And Clemson fans bedecked in their orange, looking down on a team that is totally dressed out in orange today, on their feet, applauding what has happened here this afternoon. It is just shy of the 25, call it the 24 and a half yard line where they have marked the football. Horace Smith comes out flanked to the right side. Johnny Wright and Percy Reeves in the eye now, behind Gary Harper, the quarterback. In motion goes Smith from right to left. Harper, pitch back to Reeves, swinging out to the left. He crosses the 25 and out to the 30-yard line before he is knocked down by Steve Durham and Danny Triplett. So the pickup is five and a half yards. It will be second and we'll call it five. 11 seconds. We may not get another playoff here in the third quarter. Brock continues to run. Six seconds, five. We'll not get another playoff here in the third quarter. Two seconds, one second. That's the end of the third quarter of play. And here at the Valley, fans on their feet, listen. The score after three, Tigers 13, South Carolina 6.
Valley first play of the fourth quarter. George Rogers sweeping to the left, and he was hit and knocked down at the 31-yard line. Hollis Hall led the wave of orange into him there. When Obed Ariri kicked the extra point, he tied an ACC record for 94 extra points in a career. Ball at the 31-yard line. It's third down and three for the Gamecocks. Horace Smith goes wide right. Carl West has moved in at fullback with Rogers at tailback as Gary Harper moves up under center. Harper takes out. He'll go back to throw. Looking, firing. It is intercepted. That is really Underwood. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Ken, I don't know what the play is, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Somebody had it scouted to perfection. They toyed with it all afternoon. Ben Cornett, the intended receiver this time, and Underwood sailing by, made the interception, and rambled on in for the touchdown. Tigers are now on top in this football game by a score of 19 to 3. Obed will try to make it for 20 to 6. Its kick is up. His kick is good. 95 extra points in a career. A new ACC record for Obed Ariri. And the Tigers have moved out on top by 14 points. 20 to 6. Timeout. This is the Clemson Football Network. A 37-yard pass interception by Willie Underwood, putting the Tigers out front. He has 101 yards on intercepts here this afternoon. Tigers out front now after the Obed Ariri. PAT by a score of 20 to 6. They were heavy underdogs, depending on who was calling it for them. But now they are leading 20 to 6, the ball game a long way from over Obed to tee the ball up. Now he has kicked more extra points than anybody ever has in the ACC. He has 95 now. And that gives him eight points on the afternoon. Of course, he was in a flat outside with uh, Mr. Famous Amos with 78 points. They were both uh, leading the conference. Uh, they were tied for the lead in the conference going into their final games. We know that Lawrence had one touchdown today when Ariri had kicked the two field goals at halftime. That left them tied at 84 points each. Obed now has 86 points. We don't know, of course, what's happened up North Carolina way. But the Tigers will be kicking off, and up the middle will be Horace Smith. Flanking him will be Percy Reeves to the near side, Carl West to the far side. 37-yard interception return, Willie Underwood. Tigers lead it 22-6. There's the high end over end kick. It's going to be fumbled around back there and picked up by West, who's out to the 10, to the 15, and down at the 17-yard line. West and Smith collided down there, both going for the ball. West came out with it and carried to the 17. There to hit him was Roy Brown. Well, you know, now the Gamecocks need to throw the ball some. One of the Tigers being aided off the field here. That's Tyrone Davis being aided off by two of his teammates. Shaken up on that last play. Right. West will be at fullback. Rogers the tailback as the Gamecocks come out. Horace Smith flanked to the left side. Gary Harper at quarterback, takes out, rides it off to his tailback, straight ahead comes Rogers. He is hit as he gets out to the 19-yard line and swarmed under by Steve Durham and Jeff Davis. Joey Glenn there, no, not Joey Glenn, that's Tad Hauser who came out of that stack. And Danny Triplett was all the way down on the bottom. They've marked it at the 20-yard line, a pickup of three. It'll be second and seven. I think maybe... Uh Davis just had his bell rung a little bit. Wide right goes Tim Gillespie. High formation again for the Gamecocks now with Weston Rogers lined up behind Harper. 
In motion comes Gillespie from right to left. Pitch back to Rogers, sweeping to the left side. Tigers get him. Steve Durham knocks him down at the 21-yard line, and Tad Hauser came along to help finish him off. Rogers stopped after a one-yard pickup. It is now third down and six yards to go for the game. Cox the ball at their 21-yard line. They've converted one third down all afternoon out of 10 tries. The last one turned into disaster for them. Horace Smith has checked in, bringing a play with him. 12 minutes, 55 seconds left in the game. Smith goes wide to the right side. Eye formation again behind Gary Harper at quarterback. Harper up under center now. Shouts out to his wide receivers the play. Takes out. Is back to throw. Stands in the pocket. Well, wait a minute here. The play was blown dead. I believe they got a delay a game before they got the playoff. I could not figure out what was going on. Harper was just standing there in the pocket, and orange jerseys just stopped and started looking at him. And that's a strange, strange <laughs> thing to see after you've seen hitting like we have throughout this afternoon. But a five-yard delay of game penalty will set it back to the 16, and now it will be third down and 11. Okay, uh, Clemson penalized four for 40, USC two for a total of six yards. That one was about two inches. That's right. Really five right. yards and two inches. Here it is. Third down 11. Harper. Back to throw. Going deep down the far sideline. Incomplete. The intended receiver was Tim Gillespie, but overthrown out at the 40-yard line. And so the Tigers have held defensively, and South Carolina will bring on Chris Norman to punt the football. Jim, barring anything unusual, the Tigers should end up in some very good field position here. Billy Davis is back to receive, standing at his own 41-yard line. Norman backed up to the goal line to punt. Tigers will come with just a seven-man rush. No try to block, although one came through. And a uh, high, high punt. Good hang time. Davis, fair catch at his own 45-yard line. That's where Clemson takes over first and 10. That is a punt of 39 yards. And Clemson, as you said, Ken, has excellent field position at their 45-yard line. The key so far has been the defense, and now the offense needs to go to work again. Gilliard goes left, Tuttle comes right, McSwain at tailback, McCall the fullback, Homer Jordan at quarterback for the Tigers. Out they come. This time it is McCall, 50. Jeff McCall at the 45 to the 44-yard line before he is pulled down. Harry Skipper was there defensively. That's a first down. Tigers in at the Gamecock 44-yard line. Big hole opened up over the right side behind Barry Hill and Clark. That might be McCall's longest run of the whole season. Hope everyone who's listening to the Tiger Network is enjoying this game, and especially you folks out in Houston and those of you in Little John who are watching on closed circuit. Here's Jordan. Again, this time keeping hit for a loss on the play. Phil Ellis got through there to knock him down back at the 47-yard line. Break down that time up front in the blocking, and as he faked the handoff to McCall, Ellis came sweeping through and hit him head up. So a loss of three on the play. It'll be second down and 13 now. Clock down to 11 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Tigers leading at 20 to 6 over South Carolina. Tuttle wide right. New yard slot right goes in motion left. Magwood split off left end. Here's Jordan. This time giving to McSwain. McSwain gets across the 45 and into about the 43-yard line where Ed Baxley hits him head up on a hard tackle there. So now it will be third down and nine as the football is placed at the 43-yard line of the Gamecocks. And Jeff Stockstill will come in with a play from the sideline. Looked like McSwain was going to have some running room there. All of a sudden it got closed up on him. 64,200 fans here at the Valley this afternoon enjoying this football game as these two great rivals go at it for the 78th time. Tuttle wide left, Gilliard slot left, Stock still splits off right end, Gilliard in motion left to right. Jordan takes out, rolls to his right, looking to throw. Now firing. It is for Stock still. Gets it, but he's out of bounds when he makes the grab. Down inside the 20, and now it will be fourth down. Harry Skipper was back providing the coverage, and here comes Richard Henley on the punt. So we'll have Troy Thomas backing up for the Gamecocks now with 10-23 left in the game and the Tigers leading at 20 to 6. Hundley to punt. 
Thomas backed up deep for South Carolina. Richard gets the kickoff, hits it very high and over end. Thomas going to let it hit at the five, and it's going to be downed in at the five-yard line. Tigers were down quickly. Good hang time on the punt by Hundley. That is a 38-yarder, and it sets the Gamecocks back to their five-yard line where they start. So Richard Henley saves one of his best for last here this afternoon as he hangs that one high down to the five, and the Tigers are able to down it there. That was his sixth punt this afternoon. We'll figure the average in a minute. Out come the Gamecocks. It'll be Carl West at fullback, George Rogers the tailback, Gary Harper sends Smith wide to the right side. Harper now takes out, pitch back to Rogers, sweeping the right side, gets out to the 10, the 11, the 12 yard line, and pulled down there. Good surge by Rogers, leading the defensive charge, Willie Underwood and Danny Triplett. Yeah, Henley uh, on that uh, punt was his six for 36.5 yard average. That was a a good one for the Tigers to hang it right at the five. Oh, well, the football now is at the 12-yard line. It'll be second down. Four yards to go. South Carolina. Harper again brings them out in the eye. 9.35 left in the football game. There is the ride off to Rogers again. He's got a first down as he goes out across the 15, gets out to about the 18-yard line, is slammed down there by Steve Durham and Jack Kane. Fans now just a little bit on edge here, Ken. They know that the Tigers lead at 20 to 6, but they're a little tentative right at this moment. They're laying back a little bit. Well, Rogers one, out, Percy Reeves gets in. Well, for one thing, you know the striking ability that people like Rogers and Reeves have, and also uh, the, the pass to Scott. They remember that. Forrest Smith flanks to the left side. Harper again brings his team out, sends Smith in motion from left to right. On an end around, this is Smith. Smith's going to be caught and knocked down as he gets out to the 26 yard line. Caught there by Bill Smith, the defensive end, and Bill stayed home on that play. And when Smith turned the corner, he spotted him with the football and nails him at the 26-yard line, so it is a pickup of eight. It'll be second down and two. Stats on Rodgers again. 28 carries, 168 yards. Joe Glenn is checking in for the Tigers now. Smith is coming out. Gary Harper has them down. Sends Johnny Wright in motion to the left side. Here's the sweep. This is Percy Reeves, hit hard as he gets to the 30 and falls forward to the 31-yard line. Enough for a South Carolina first down. But the Tiger defense putting some good licks on out there. Steve Durham and James Robinson led the charge that time. Eight minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the game now. 16 first downs for the game time. Now Carl West is checking out. Johnny Wright, Percy Reeves in the eye. Oh, wait a minute, that's Smith in the eye who moves in motion to the right side now. Harper's back to throw, Durham's got a rush on him, fires, it is caught, and that is Gillespie who's out over the 50 into Tiger territory at about the 48 or nine yard line. Tell you something, Steve Durham really got to Gary Harper just as he delivered the football at a great throw under pressure by the senior quarterback as he hit Gillespie in Tiger territory. The Gamecocks have it at the 49 and a half yard line. Coming right back at the Tigers. Seven minutes, 48 seconds remaining in the game. 20 to six, Clemson on top. Out they come. It's Carl West and Percy Reed with West for Smith lined up wide to the left side as a flanker. There's a pitch back, flag down, illegal motion. Two backs in motion that time by South Carolina. Thought I was in Canada there for a minute, Jim. Two backs in motion, illegal, because Smith went in motion from his wing back, and Carl West went in motion from fullback. In fact, they almost collided. Three flags. In Canada, they can have, what, two backs in motion yeah. out there. Yeah. Twelve men. But we're a little south of that little border. Bit. Yes, sir. Well, they'll step off the penalty against South Carolina. That moves it back into Gamecock territory at the 46-yard line. And it'll be first down and 15 for South Carolina now. The clock down to 7 minutes, 44 seconds remaining in the game. Clock begins to run again. 20 to 6, Tigers on top. 64,200 on hand here at the Valley this afternoon. Gary Harper brings them up. 
Sends Gillespie in motion. They try the end around with Gillespie. A halfback pass coming here. He's firing downfield. It is going to be incomplete, almost intercepted. It was tipped by two Tiger players. Willie Scott, the intended receiver. Rod McSwain tipped it away, and it was almost picked off by Jack Kane, but just trickled off his fingertips. But the Tigers, brilliant job defensively in the secondary as they were aware of that halfback pass that time, Ken. There were four of them around the ball. He took a long time to throw the ball also. He, when he went to his right, stood there for quite a while looking for it. Second down, 15 yards to go. Gillespie wide to the left side. Smith is in that backfield with Rogers. He comes in motion to the left now. Here is Harper back to throw. Looking left side, Durham gets to him, knocks him down back at the 36-yard line. Jeff Bryant came along to help out, but the Tigers get a big sack in there. Back at the 36-yard line of the game, Cox, it'll be third down and long yardage now for South Carolina. That's a pumped-up defense out there at this moment, Ken. Tell you one thing, uh, Rodgers just could not handle that block that time. He could not block the man. The man was just too big and strong for it. They've spotted it at the 37-yard line. Third down, 23 yards to go, South Carolina. Six minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. Smith goes wide right, Gillespie slots right. West, Rogers in the eye, behind quarterback Gary Harper. Harper dropping to throw, firing over the middle deep. This is for Willie Scott, his tight end. He's got it, but it's not enough for a first down. Knocked down at the 42-yard line of the Tigers, and I would imagine at this point we might see a fourth down gamble by South Carolina because it is fourth and two, and they trail in the game 20 to six to the Tigers. Hollis Hall made the tackle on Scott as he came over the middle. Fourth and closer to three, actually, than two. Tiger defense comes out of their huddle now. Gillespie goes wide right. Weston Rogers in the eye behind Gary Harper. Harper sets them down. Brings in motion. Gillespie from right to left. Harper takes out. Fumble in the backfield. Harper chasing it around, and he's down at the 48-yard line. Andy Hedden got to him. The Tigers have the football first and 10 at their own 49. 539 showing on the clock. Clemson leads at 20 to 6 and listen to these fans at the Valley. So Clemson on top in this game by a score of 20 to 6. The defense has just stopped South Carolina once again. Boy, the folks out here are getting a good look at the replay down on athletic director Bill McClellan's booth. Here's the give. Jeff McCall straight ahead. He's in the game. Cock territory to the 46-yard line. Pulled down there. Pick up of five. It'll be second down and five for the Tigers. Ed Backley, Walt Cater. Five minutes, 24 seconds. Clock still running. A word we use a lot is intensity, Jim. Out they come. Tuttle is wide to the right side. High formation behind Jordan. The give this time to McSwain. McSwain inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. That's another first down, Tigers. <laughs> Pat Bowen was there defensively. Ball at the 39. Magwood goes far to the left side. Everyone else, up. Oh, there is a wide receiver to the right. Here's Jordan setting them down now. First and 10, Tigers at the 39 of the game, Cox. This time to McCall, straight ahead. He crosses the 35 to the 33-yard line. Caught there by Harry Skipper. So mark it at the 33. It's second down, four yards to go for the Tigers. Jim McSwain now 72 yards on seven carries for the Tigers. All right, here we go. Second down and four. Homer Jordan taking out. This time pitching out on the corner. McSwain crosses the 30 to the 29, and he is knocked down there. He'll be close to a first down. Pat Bowen got to him there. Okay, so now the Tigers third down play coming up, needing to get a, a first down if possible. Well, I 
Let's see. They're going to measure here. I think they've got the first down myself, but let's take a look at the chain sticks as they come in. Meanwhile, let's fill out our ballots here, okay? Okay, I'll try to figure out somebody and, and take some of your signals there. Well, too. I didn't have to figure very long to pick Willie Underwood as Clemson's most valuable MVP. player in this game. It is a first down for the Tigers, I believe. Yep, first down Tigers at the 29-yard line. That's the Tigers' 13th first down here this afternoon. So far, the Gamecocks have 17. Clemson has dominated the second half of play. It was tied 6-6 at the half. Set to go now. Wide receivers left and right. Jordan takes out. This time giving off to McCall again. Straight ahead goes Jeff. He booms his way into about the 26-yard line where Emmanuel Weaver comes across to make the play on him. Clock ticking. Three and a half minutes left. Down to 328. Clock continuing to tick. The Tigers taking all of their allotted time in the huddle here. They're leading this football game by a score of 20 to 6 here this afternoon at the Valley. An upset of the making. Three minutes, 15 seconds now. Magwood goes wide left. Tuttle flanks out to the right. Homer Jordan at quarterback. Up under center once again. Jordan taking out, giving off to McSwain, goes over left tackle, keeps the legs pumping, moves into the 22-yard line, is knocked down there. Clock is now under three minutes. Province and Allen were there defensively. Two minutes, 54 seconds. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the football game. It will be third down and four for the Tigers, and the fans now begin to sense a victory here at the stadium this afternoon, Ken. Ah, they're all standing. All these Tiger fans standing and so happy. There's Jordan bringing them out. This time, Homer on a pitch, McSwain down to the 15-yard line and a first down. Harry Skipper chased him out of bounds. But another first down for the Tigers. That stops the clock with two minutes, 30 seconds remaining in this football game this afternoon. How about all those rumors we listened to all weekend? Do you suppose anybody will be talking about them after this game's over? I don't think they're going to be talking about the one thing, and that's this football game itself, Jim. Gamecock fans beginning to file out. Magwood goes wide to the left side. It's Tuttle, flank to the right. This time it is off to McCall. 10-5, touchdown! McCall hit left guard, took one step to the outside and went untouched the remaining yards and stepped into the end zone. Obed Ariri on to try and tack on point number 27 of the afternoon. Now the kick is up, the kick is good. Time out at the Valley, 2.24 left in the scoreboard clock with the score. Clemson 27, the Gamecock 6, and this is the Clemson Football Network. It's been. Ken, I don't want to pick on any fans because fans very, very vocal about their respective teams. But immediately in front of us throughout this afternoon, there have been a couple of guys bedecked in their Gamecock hats. And there's been a lot of taunting going on between them and the Tiger fans. They just gave up. Yeah, they, they did. They just they... headed for the exits now. They saw the 27 to 6 on the board and they have moved on out to the applause, I might say, of a lot of Clemson fans who were around them. Okay, McCall, by the way, now has the 50 yards and that TD. And, well, it's a festive situation. Garnet and black pom-poms being torn up and thrown in the air by some Tiger fans. All right, here's a Reary's kick, high end over end. This one will be taken by Reeves at the 4, out to the 5, up the middle to the 10, the 15. Knocked down as he crosses the 15. Willie Ward was there for the Tigers. They will spot it at the 17-yard line, and that's where the Gamecocks will take over first and 10 with 2.18 remaining. And the Tigers on top by a score of 27 to 6. 
Well, I've seen a lot of cigars smoked in my time. I just saw one chewed up and swallowed out here. <laughs> and that's a Clemson fan. Oh, it is? <laughs> now, here comes South Carolina, Gary Harper. George Rogers is checking out. And West and Reeves are in there. Reeves comes over as a wing on the left side. Harper is back to throw, looking. Now firing over the middle, it's caught out across the 20 at about the 22-yard line by Reeves, but he is knocked down immediately by Danny Triplett. Brought down to two minutes, five seconds remaining. South Carolina quickly up over the ball now. Here's Harper once more, taking out, dropping the throw again. Looking, firing deep down the right side. It is tipped away over here and almost intercepted once again by the Tigers. Tipped away that time by Hollis Hall. The intended receiver was Horace Smith. Jim, I want to say the uh, assistant coaches in the booth beside us have finally gone down to the bench, and they are having themselves uh, quite a celebration. It's been a rough year on these young men, and now they are congratulating the guys they've coached all year. They sit up in the, in the booth, help call the plays offensively and defensively. Here comes Carolina, third down and five now. Harper moves up under center once again, has wide outs to both sides, clock down to a minute 53 remaining. Drops the throw once more. Looking, firing deep over the middle. It is caught out around the 39. That'll be enough for a first down. It was Tim Gillespie making the grab, and there defensively was Hollis Hall for the Tigers. So it's first down Gamecocks as they quickly come up to the football now. Clock down to a minute 46. Stopped, of course, as they move the yard markers. Harper once more brings his team up to the line of scrimmage. Brock starts to tick. Gary back to throw. Looking, firing deep over the middle. This one is caught, and that is Horace Smith down into Tiger territory at the 43-yard line. But this is Tiger prevent defense now. Five defensive backs, and they're all backed up deep. They're giving them the zone underneath. Another first down for the Gamecocks. In at the 43-yard line of the Tigers. A minute 35 remaining. 27 to 6. Clemson leads as Harper is back to throw again. Looking, firing, it is caught down at the 22-yard line, and this time it is Gillespie, and once more, Willie Underwood is there defensively for the Tigers. And we have a flag back at the line of scrimmage here. And it's going to go against the Gamecocks. A penalty against South Carolina. Have an injured Tiger down there, Anthony Rose, the injured player, being attended to now by trainer Fred Hoover. Certainly hope that is not of a serious nature. A minute 25 left in the game. They're marching off 15 against the Gamecocks now. As South Carolina on that particular play was detected holding, but they continue to work on Anthony Rose. Jim, something I'd like to interject if I could right now. Some of the fans are already in their cars, and if you're listening out there and driving, please drive carefully. And also the Highway Patrol is doing an extra job of uh, cracking down on uh, violators of all types here this afternoon around the area so please drive with extreme care if you're celebrating or if you're uh, kind of uh, unhappy at the moment well anthony rose who has been troubled with a knee all year evidently having problems with it again but he's up now and walking off being aided but nonetheless walking to the sidelines ken i got a feeling there's going to be some celebrating in this town tonight you think so huh i think so all across this state in fact i may join in <laughs> no. who's in a hurry to get home huh? <laughs> back at the 41 yard line harper to throw again backs up looking a swing pass on the right side it is grabbed there by percy reeves who's hauled down at the 41 yard line and over to get him that time for the tigers defensively was rick bassich who is in in replacement of anthony rose and so now it will be second down long long yardage for south carolina that was a personal foul penalty, not a holding, as I had originally and told you. Here's a long throw for Gillespie, and it is flagged down, pass interference there. Good call. Gillespie was there. Hollis Hall came over the top, tried to strip him, and got there a little too soon. Jim Hall went down and hasn't gotten back up. We can't see him for Clemson players right in front of the bench. So now the Gamecocks will be faced with a third down and still about five yards to go. Started to tell you a while ago that 15-yard penalty against them was a personal foul penalty after the first down. 
Well, they're indicating first down for the Gamecocks, but uh, the chain sticks had to move down. They were five yards shy of it now. I don't know if. Oh, a pass interference, that's right. Yeah. Automatic first down. Should have thought of that. <laughs> Too thrilled about the score to be thinking Little. about things like that. Tim Gillespie goes right to the right side. There is Harper back to throw. 45 seconds left in the game. Going deep, going for the big one. It is intercepted in the end zone. And that's Randy Learn picking it off. Interception in the end zone. The intended receiver was Horace Smith. The scoreboard shows 38 seconds remaining in the game. The Tigers leading it 27 to 6. And what better way to end the season and a day than this one has been for the Tigers as Randy Learn picks off the pass. The Tigers will have it first and 10 at the 20-yard line. A group of kids that deserve a chance to celebrate these hardworking young Tiger players who've been injured and beat up. Hey, do I see Bo Blanton coming in at quarterback, or is that Epley? I'm not sure. Is that an 18 or a 16? 18. It is Bo Blanton. Bo Blanton, who has been a holder for a rearie, gets a chance to quarterback, hands off to the tailback, and I don't even know who's in there. Cliff Austin right. is the tailback. Ed Baxley makes the stop on him. But Bo Blanton, who has had a career as a holder, is now the quarterback. 23 seconds remaining. Clock continuing to run. Tigers just take their time back there in the huddle. They've done it. There were few who thought they could, but they have done it here this afternoon. Here's Blanton again riding it off, and here's Austin fighting his way to the 26-yard line. Five seconds, four, here's the crowd. the clock up there did not run all the way down until just now it had stopped at one second for some reason or another but uh, now it has ticked all the way off and the Tigers a team much much maligned many many times throughout the course of this season their coach Danny Ford rumors all week Danny was gone Danny couldn't coach well I'm going to tell you something Ken they may have saved it for the last one but without question, they put it all together here this afternoon. And if that's not something to build on, I don't know what is. They come up with a convincing, very, very convincing and exciting victory over their arch rival, the South Carolina Gamecocks. We'll be back to talk about it. Now we tell you only this, that the scoreboard says the final score in today's game, Clemson 27, South Carolina 6. <laughs>